up, YouTube Adventure with a Franchise Guy, coming at you again with another sort of NHL 20 Rangers franchise, taking on the Devils, of course, a Capo Caco, Jack Hughes, 1 2 3 combo, I guess 1 2 punch. Evan Cormier is in net for the Devils. What a strange, what a strange choice of goalie right there. But, whatever, it's not the point. Yeah, this team's got Subban, this team's got Panarin, this team's got, uh, uh, what's, uh, Taylor Hall, that's his name, I can't remember what his name was. There we go, Adam Fox is on the board first. I mean, so I happened last game, he got on the board first. Did not end too well for us, so, eh. But, uh, hope to keep that, uh, celebrations to a minimum right there. Ooh, eventually wants to put that in net right there. Up to Capo Caco. Down around eight. Yep, that's an offside warning. Alright, so Hughes has it. Nope. There we go, Adam Fox again. Back-to-back -back goals for, I guess, the third year now. Uh, defensive line. Defensive. Front. I don't know. Seventh goal of the season. Not too shabby for Mr. Fox. Yeah, I think he led our team in goals last year, so. Hey, not too bad for the young guy. I mean. He was a big part, of, he's a big part of our future, a big part of what we have coming. I mean, I wanted, I wanted to be competing by year three, but the way things are going now, our goalie prospects aren't quite ready. Wow, okay. Uh, so Lundquist just decided he just didn't want a goalie right there. Jesper Bratt brings us within one, so that's how this game works apparently. Okay, apparently, um, apparently we have a fight. I don't know what the fight was for. I mean, nothing seemed wrong with that hit on Muzzin. Uh, yeah, no, I'm still kind of confused by why there is a big old fight over Muzzin. Not too sure at all, actually. Super confused. But, hey, I was doing some thinking that, uh, pretty much if everything goes accordingly to plan, Jack Hughes could be a free agent. I know we've acquired a couple extra first-round draft picks over the next couple of seasons. So, I mean, I, mean, I highly doubt he becomes a free agent. I highly doubt that, especially for his first contract. I know he's not going to be... I'm not going to ask for no 11, 12 million. He's going to be asking for like probably like a 7, 8, maybe 10 million at most mark. It's a delayed penalty. Of course, it's a delayed penalty. Because apparently, I guess we tripped someone. Alright. So. This team is so bad. This team is so bad when it comes to penalties. Don't know why they uh, they just draw so many penalties. Lundquist actually making a save for once. So Rowley. Oof. Was on net. I 
give him that. No, well, alright, Lundquist, just don't pass it out, I guess. I mean, could be worse, we could have a lot of goal by now. Jersey's sputtering at 5-5. Five and five. All this talent, really? They're 5-5 five and five with all the talent they have. Kind of, I guess, that was a hit on me, sure. It wasn't even a big hit. Come on. Oh, no, there. Dude, how we... I guess every player we play against is going to score a hat-trick against us. That's two goals now for Jesper Bratt. So, there are four goals total in this game, scored by two total players. Know where that pass went, but that's not close to where I'm supposed to be sending it to. We're joking, right? Alexis Lafreniere can't make a pass on one on one on one coverage with only one person defending him. Two minute penalty right there. Panarin's hurt, rolling around, holding his knee. The lobby back in a minute, so. Ovechkin. Oh boy. Oh, apparently Ovechkin's going to get bullied by Taylor Hall. Who would have thought, you know, someone would have ever seen Taylor Hall bully Alexander Ovechkin? Not me. Maybe he'll send a cheap hit on, like, a Nolan Patrick. But not Alexander Ovechkin. He's too big and too strong for Taylor Hall to cheap shot him. But whatever. No. Okay. I saw a tweet on um. Oh, who was that? He has. I think X Tech either liked it or retweeted it, but and I forget who tweeted it, which makes this tweet, you know, just makes the point of me bringing it up because I don't, I don't remember who tweeted it. All I know is I saw it on uh, that X, uh, X Tech uh, retweeted it, but it's pretty much saying how people are burnt out already on this game, and it's only been out for like two months. Game misconduct? Game misconduct. But it's a game misconduct. Yeah, can't it's a game misconduct. Dude, Subban is back skating faster than I'm skating. Oh, what a surprise. They have a lead now. No, oh, that actually wasn't a, wasn't a game misconduct. But I, I, see everyone, I see what he was meaning, though, by being burnt out by this game already. Because, you know, I love playing NHL 19. I love that Flyers franchise. 
That was probably one of my favorite franchises I've ever done in any game. Especially for how long it went. Like, how many... I did... What did I do? Nine seasons of it? I think I did five. I don't know. I did a lot, I did a lot of seasons of that series. And not once was I ever actually tired of that game. No, I, I'd, I'd play it. Oh, what a surprise. Subban's railing up for a hit from halfway across the ice. But I, I couldn't wait to play that franchise again. Yeah, bro, yeah, I got tiresome after a while. I mean, I went, I, literally at the end of it, I just, I just put it on rookie and was just scoring. I think the one game I scored 16 goals. I, I, won't, I, just, I guess it's just, I guess it's be a pro. Yeah, I, I just, I, I think I won a championship every year. Like it was, that's all it was. But, no, no point that I ever get tired of franchise. I love playing that franchise. I love, you know, with the, I love that team as, uh, and McDavid, um, Is McDavid, uh, Nolan Patrick, and Patrick Kane. I love that. I love that line. Like, I'm sorry. I don't think there's any line in this game that's going to be able to that I'm going to make this game to compare to that line. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, well, I have um, Alexander Ovechkin. Yeah, well, Alexander Ovechkin's not. Patrick Kane and Connor McDavid. Yeah, especially now with the whole like plus minus system where it helps you like. There we go, Jay O'Brien. Like you know how the whole plus minus system helps players play better and you know makes them play worse for I guess pl players that just are similar styles or help you similar styles. I mean, hey, I had McDavid, Kane, and Patrick, and all those, and both, all three of them had 100 points a season. McDavid won, had like 121 year. Like they had, they were just all. They all played great together, and they all had a great scoring with no touching to the, to the base slider sets. They all had 100 over 100 points. Yeah, Nolan Patrick grew to a, a legit, like, medium elite 90-something overall player. McDavid grew to, like, a, like a high franchise, like, a medium franchise. But I play this game, and I'm just tired of it. Like, I'm tired of the same cheap shots I'm getting from the AI. I'm tired of the AI blowing me out every time. Yeah, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to play the game on rookie and get blown out. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. Does my goalie have something to do with it? I don't know, maybe. But he's an 85 overall goalie. And he's not picking up. He's just not picking anything up. Like, sure, there are times where in NHL 19 where Carter Hart, you know, would not pick things up. And he would let up stupid goals and I get frustrated by it. Like, but this is like every, every game. I, I'm... Having goals not get picked up by Lundquist. Every game has them. You can watch all the episodes. We're on episode like what? 20 something? Maybe 30? I don't know. You can watch every episode though. And every, episode, every game Lundquist starts. Every game any goalie starts. There's always just missed goals. Where they just don't play it correctly. Like. There'll be goals where the goal. The guy's right over here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right here. And I'm not gonna play it. Or I see well, my goal is gonna be over here. There's the other guy over here, and he's gonna rebound it into him. Like one of the big things about NHL 20 was the whole like new rebound control feature. Whereas having you know goalies actually you know kick pucks out so they weren't in play the entire time. But, I don't know. How many times have we seen Lundquist just kick a goal? 
Sometimes I'll be tripping right there. Yep, probably could trip. But how many times have we seen Lundquist just, you know, direct a puck into the opponent's stick as an instant goal? Oh, look at that, look at that. Lundquist never moved to play the puck over here. Stay playing the puck over here for Stevenson, but still got beat by Stevenson. Like, at what point does Lundquist just not know how to play the game anymore? He's not like he's like an 80, he's not like he's like a 75 overall goalie. No, he's an 85 overall goalie. He's listed as a NHL starter. Now he's, what, five games away from his 500th career win as a goalie? So, I don't know. But like they need to fix the speed differentials too, because I'm having defensemen backskating quicker than you know Colin White, Alexis Lafreniere, Capo Kako are you know skating. Oh. Come on. Up to Sorelli. Like, look, I'm having Alexis Lafreniere, Alexis Lafreniere is screening Evan Cormier. You know, see, he, he can't see, but he snagged that puck out of the air, didn't he? Clark with it. There we go. Wade Allison. Look at look. Wade Allison's sprinting. And backskating defensemen are keeping up with him. Alright, Ovechkin now. Oh, Ovechkin. Someone who's not going to get. I don't think Ovechkin's ever been. Truly knocked down and bullied in his entire career. Not once he's ever been bullied by a player. But back to back games now, Avengers get gotten railed by checks. Where he's been just knocked down. Like, and these aren't like they're big, you know, tough defensemen. These aren't. Yeah, you know, we're not having. I don't even know who. We're not having a Ryan Reeves. Knock him down. We're not having a Tom Wilson knock him down. No, we're having, you know, five ten centers. You know, maybe six foot at most wingers. You know, guys who shouldn't be beating Alex. You know, Ovechkin are beating Alex Ovechkin in checks. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Jack Hughes had a had a check on him. On Capo Caco. Wow, look at that. Slap shot right there. Beats Cormier. Second goal of the game for Capo Caco. Lemieux gets left running. Come on. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. And now it's over to Subban. 31 seconds to the buzzer. And a stick in no, the it... back to back. Here's a shot. Like seriously? Tries to get it out of harm's way. And 
Like, since when did Jesper Braff become, like, a great player? Like, that's two interceptions he got, he got right there, trying to clear the zone. Who knows? Well, let's see what this third period can offer and what has been a score fest thus far. Forty minutes into this one here, Razor. Look at that. Another another poor rebound control by Adam Lundquist. Which is probably a last shot win sort of thing. Man, it's been No, Adam Fox just didn't pick that one up. Knocked away. Grabs the puck in the corner. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession. Kaka with it. Outstanding. Now they've got it again. Defenseman. No, that's no goal, apparently. How's that a no goal? But when Lee... Alright, so that's a no goal right there. Because my guy gets pushed in there. But when Leeson, last game, gets pushed into Lundqvist, that's a goal. But that's a no goal right there. You have to be kidding me with this game. Like, at what point, what's a goal in this game anymore? Because clearly they, the game does not know what a, like what goal interference is. Oh, come on, get on, get on side. Like, look. Oh boy. PK Subban is now out skating Alexis Lafreniere in a back skate. Yes, but Brad apparently somehow hasn't scored his third goal of the game yet to get the hat trick. Whatever. A winger is now blowing a defenseman, Kyle Palmari, who's who's a playmaker. Not a real big physical tough guy, he's a playmaker. Nope, that was no I I loved I love this game too. And all the garbage passes that teams just make. That's supposed to be to the left, so it's, I don't forget who number that was. But instead of passing it up into the left, he's gonna sh shoot it straight through. I can't win a face-off to save my life, apparently. Doesn't matter what their face-off is. I can't win a face-off. Yep. Lafreniere. Or at least now they're keeping up with the young, with the much younger, much quicker... You know, a winger now, at least they're skating correctly, not just back skating into him. I count, I remember Michael Raffle now as a, uh... Oh, come on, pick him up. Oh boy. New York set the puck in their own end. Rips it just wide of the net. Moves the puck behind the net. No, all right. What was what was that? Cuz that made no sense. Trying to sneak off the defender. Move to the middle. Nothing doing. That plan didn't work. And it's All right, get left with it. Can he break away? Yep. Ryan gets left, the uh, former captain of the Ducks, right? He captained the Ducks, I think. He's Corey Perry. I don't know. One of them captained the Ducks. But gets a breakaway goal right there. So I'm surprised. Uh... Oh, wow, look at that. Capo Kako gets a goal right there. 
that's third of the game? I don't, I can't remember if that's third of the game. Third goal tonight? Yeah, it's his third goal at the hat trick for Capo Kaka. Way to go, bud. Got somehow found a way through. That's what happens when you have a, uh, a goaltender, you know, who probably shouldn't be in the NHL currently, uh, getting screened right there. Kako pushing it up, leading the offense right here. Jay O'Brien with the goal. So now this offense is starting to come alive a little bit, and I don't understand why it picks and chooses when the offense wants to, you know, offense correctly. You know, because this line should be doing great. Jay O'Brien has amazing face-off, a straight, you know, sharp shooter. Alexander Ovechkin, you know, first ballot Hall of Famer when his number's called. I'm thinking of the best, the best part of a best thing a young player can have on his line, you know, is a player like Alexander Ovechkin. And I've seen Capo Kaka's numbers really haven't changed at all. He's got what 13 points in the. Uh, he had 13 points in the first month. Something like that. A little, maybe a little more, a little less. 13 points, I think, was like around that range. You know, and Adam Fox and Alexander Ovechkin both had 20, and he only had 13. I think uh, Jay O'Brien had 18 and 18 games because Jay O'Brien's an offensive monster. Who knows? Brent Clark can't get that goal to go. Alright, Brent. Come on, Brent. There we go, Brent. Brent Clark comes up clutch in the fight right there. Number 37, he's still, you know, reeling in pain right there. Not sure who 37 is, but the Rangers are loving it right now. It's pretty good right there. The Rangers are having fun. Oh, you have Michael Rothfeld, the apparent best player in hockey right now on the ice. Oh, and we want a face-off too, so that's, um, but we instantly lose it, so I guess that's the, the trade-off right there. Lundquist almost puts one in his own net right there with help of Jay O'Brien. So this game's gonna not go down easy apparently. This game's gonna kick and scream, you know, the next 23.4 seconds. They'll probably have like 12 different. Uh, and that is another. Oh, so when he gets pushed into it, it's a no goal. But when it happens to me, it's a goal. That's twice now this game's taken away a goal from me. There we go. Jerry Brown's a snipe right there. Cormier can't handle it. Take one goal away, I'm going to get another one. There we go. We get the win though. This game was it ten to four. Big time win though for your New York Rangers. Jay O'Brien had three goals. Kapokaka had three goals, and Adam Fox had two goals. So almost three hat tricks. O'Brien had six total points. Kapokaka had th uh, five total points. But if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed any episode, post down below and talk some YouTube. Peace out, rock on, and stay super classy. I guess.